and it is my privilege and honor to present the best director Olivier Award to an artist who has given flight to many amazing productions, Matthew Warchus. She often say to me, Matthew, which is your favourite Matilda girl? And as you saw earlier, that's a ridiculous question. There's four little miracles there. And actually, uh, productions are rather like children. And I'm in the strange situation um, tonight of having um, two of my own productions nominated in a category which are coming up in a few moments' time for Best Musical. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, if one of them does win, that uh, my feelings about you both are equal. Um, I want to uh, acknowledge the amazing work that's gone into it from both groups of people on stage and off in writing both of those shows, and it's been a great thrill of mine this year to be involved with both of them. Um, I also want to say thank you, as you heard, two of the Matildas are leaving uh, the show uh, this week and being replaced by two um, equally amazing girls, but also two of the other cast, Paul Kay and Lara Lauren Ward, are, uh, have reached the end of their contracts and are... Uh, leaving the show, and I want to thank both of them for their uh, stunning work. Um, I'm usually in the conventional situation of thanking uh, Lauren, my wife, for improving my uh, life by holding down the fort at home, but it's a great treat to be thanking her for improving my show with her stunning performance as Miss Honey in it as well. I do have a favourite part of the show, actually. There's a moment when Matilda is thrown into her bedroom by her father and, and, uh, and, and breaks down in despair and fury on the bed and pummels three times into the, her pillow with anger. And then there's a pause and she looks up and she starts telling the final instalment of the story, which is going to be the ultimate key to solving all of the pain and suffering and the cruelty um, that's built up in her life. And for me, it's my favorite moment because it's a metaphor for the healing power of the creative imagination. And uh, every night uh, at Matilda, and indeed at Ghost here in New York as well, um, I get the privilege of standing at the back and seeing a, an audience stand up with elated tears um, on their face. And this is an honor, but it's truly a privilege. And I'm not trying to promote my own work. I know the other directors in my category have had exactly the same thing on their shows. When you see an audience affected by that, it's the creative imagination that, that does that work. And um, it's not only Matilda that has that imagination, all kids have it. We all have it at some point. And in my view, um, our education system should promote it and support it more. Schools should encourage it. Um, in fact, I think they should prioritize it over mathematics and science and sports and even, and even literacy, because the creative imag imagination is the key to not only surviving life, but improving and changing it for all of us. So thank you very much indeed.